Hey, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. All right, awesome. Hold on, give me wings. How are you? I'm doing great. How was your weekend? Actually, really good because yesterday rain and today yeah. the same, just like uh, one hour ago, and it's very cool, really nice. Yes, it's nice when it rains. Yeah. And what you do on the weekend? Actually, I didn't do too much. Let me see. I just stay at home, I think. Yeah. I, actually, I am not. Uh, I am not uh, a person that likes to go out on weekends. I love. I love weekday. Uh, I I don't go out on weekends. Actually, on weekends, I just stay at home. Yesterday, all. All the afternoon, I stay watching TV with my, with my little little kids. We watch the three movies from Trek. Oh man, I, I I am not a fan of that of that movie. I think those are good, but the good thing and a curious thing about this is that uh, the director of that movie uh, is an ex employee from Disney. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Uh, he got fired, actually. In that movie, if you if you take the time to analyze, it's like a, it's como una sátira para las películas de Disney. Oh, yes. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, have you, you know, realized about that? Yes, the only thing I don't understand, why, why do they make Pinocchio gay? I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah I, I don't understand that so it's not yeah. only for little kids because if you see there is an on 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 part two i think uh pinocchio appears with with uh, Nilo. yes mm -hmm. so if, if if you put your kids uh, minds are, are are very young they don't they don't see that or they don't pay attention to that so I'm okay, but maybe uh, a little boy or a little girl like 10 years old, they are going to ask, hey, why is he using that? Or they are going to make question about that. So it's not uh, properly for for mm -hmm. for kids. No, no, no at all. But the the one, the, the, the first one, I like it because if you see... Uh, this man, the king, is like like a man. How do you say? Authoritarian, like, es como un villano. So he's the king. Pero what I can see is that the director tried to put the 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 ex the ex uh, boss in that in that maybe, guy. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yes, I think it was inspired in many people. Mm hmm. But you know what? I I like I seen all the Shreks, but I I think the best one is the first one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But I don't like it in Spanish that much. Really? Yeah, because Eugenio you know Derbez he gets on my nerves. Like, hmm. I mean, With the donkey, he, right? Yeah, he's funny, but then he's I don't know. I mean, because in English, it's funny. Yeah, I I haven't seen, I haven't watched the full movie only in English, but yeah, I sometimes I do that when I try to see something that someone says in Spanish. Uh, how, how do you know who the voice of Donkey is in English? No, actually, I it's don't. Eddie, it's Eddie Murphy. Oh yeah, 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 Eddie Murphy. Yeah, you are right. How does it sound? I don't remember. It's good? But, you know, I, I could understand why Eugenio Derbez is because um, I 
it, okay. Um, Shrek English and Shrek Spanish. Shrek English is a lot of is very Americanized. It's it's a lot of things about in the United States. Mm -hmm. So of course, Eddie Murphy talks a lot about things about the United States. So when they made it Latin, I understand why they put Eugenio Derbez. He does the exact same thing, but for Latinos. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. But one of my favorite movies will always be um, Toy Story. Man, when I watched that movie the first time, I was I wanted to cry. Which one? The first one. Part one, yes. Yeah. Because it was like a nostalgia because I had every toy in that movie. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I rem I, I had that. I had the soldiers. I had, you know, I had all those <laughs> toys. So the people that made that, they were very, very, very good. Something that I that I haven't seen and I, I would like to purchase one of them is the the little pizarrón but the one that has two two little button to draw you know what I, you know yeah. what i mean they have that those one. in dollar city i think really i've seen them oh you never something... had one no i never had one of them oh. and, and and i don't know how do they work i guess that the one that is on the left that goes up and down and the other one left and right I guess well, you know to be honest they're very difficult no they both move the same thing oh really and when you want to erase you just shake oh mm -hmm. what about you David Anna how was your weekend hi teacher hello. my weekend was yeah hello how are you yeah my weekend was uh, as usual <laughs> trying to do some personal errands and uh, yesterday trying to clean some stuff that they were uh, on my back, <laughs> like uh, mm. uh, something that I, how can I say? Algo que tenía de hace tiempo que tenía que hacer. I had to do it for a while now. Ah, okay. Something that I had to do for a while. So yesterday I took the time. Always whenever I try to I tried to make that activity. Rain was coming down. And, uh, you know, no, this is not the day. This is not the day. <laughs> yesterday, I took mm -hmm. advantage that here, I, I don't remember. No, yesterday it didn't rain here in my in my city. And I took advantage of that space of time, that time frame, and, and I did at the end. I'm still missing. I need to throw away all stuff, preview things. And it's because at the beginning of the year, we uh, started like um, uh, restor uh, yes, restoration of, of our house and we being uh, painting, not me directly, we paid for someone who did it, but they've been cleaning some spaces and suddenly we found things that, oh, here is this, here, that is that. Mm, yeah, that happens. And we must review papers, books. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that was my my weekend. But after, uh, a part of that, it was excellent. It was good. A part of that, that, no, you don't a say. A part of that. Okay. No, you don't say that. You say besides that. Besides that, okay. Besides that, just thinking in the top of, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. You you were thinking Spanish right there. Aparte de this, apart, yeah. Beside that, Besides also tough on my mind. <laughs> tough on my mind. <laughs> All right. I what don't about know what you, I'm going to do the time of the the real time for TOEFL. I have a question. Um, why why do you want to do TOEFL? Is is for your job? No, it's um... just for personal. Exactly, personal accomplishment. Accomplishment, personal okay. goal. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I want if... to face face to face that uh, task, and, and let's see how difficult it is, and, and let's see if mm -hmm. I'm capable to. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about you, David Samuel? How are you? 
I, I, I stay home, teacher. My other bunch of when you are older, is stay home. <laughs> okay, you didn't you didn't go out? Sorry, I, I can hear your words. Sorry. You, you didn't go out? No, I I like stay home most of the time. Okay. Read, Read write. Oh nice. What do you write? I what I write, I write uh, a blog, I write, uh, I have write uh, two books and I published one in Amazon. And, uh, Are you serious? Uh, really? Yes, I, I, I like to, in that blog, I like to give advices and something like that. What is your blog? I mean, what, tell us, what do you do? The blog, the this name of the blog is... Uh, El Rincón de Aurelius, that is the name, El Rincón de Aurelius. Aurelius is a, a wise man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what are your books about? Uh, the first book is about the uh, uh, miracle that uh, was in the life of a, a friend. And the second one is a uh, about the uh, stories that give you lessons of wisdom. The oh. name is Colección de Parábolas, but are uh, stories, stories. The, the, the best wise is uh, in uh, simple stories that uh, you can read again and again and get uh, some uh, like wisdom that you can find. The wisdom is not in the story, but it's inside of you. And when you read, yes. you, you feel motivated and get the, okay. the wisdom around you. It's something, I'm not comparing, but it's something similar to, um, I one book I really like, it's a very popular book, but I really like that book, was The Lucky Me Stuff from... Um, uh, wow. It that was, is, uh, uh, yes, it's... it's you see the the major league <laughs> yes. El Gabo Garcia Marquez. But you know when I read that book, at the end I started getting chills. Yes. Because it's a very I could I could actually imagine when he's speaking with the desert and you know, I love that book. Yeah, I yes, read... it's a, a very, very good book. Yes. But you know the only the only thing I don't like about Garcia Marquez is that um I always tell I, I think Garcia Marquez is like Mana in music. Mana, you know Mana, the group Mana, right? Yes. They have very good songs, but they're all the same. <laughs> so uh I think Garcia Marquez is a great writer, but if you read like when you finish reading a Garcia Marquez book and you read another book from Garcia Marquez and another book, it's it's kind of like the same. Yes, yes. So, you know, I tell people, uh, Garcia Marquez is an excellent writer, but take a break. Read one book, read a different book. Yes. But don't, yes, don't just is, read is, Garcia is, Marquez. Every speaker and every writer has a lion inside your feet. Uh, there is a story about uh, the, a teacher that give an assignment to his students, to their students, and, and uh, the teacher asked the students to talk about an, an animal. And uh, some students, a particular students, think in the lion, and that the student no, no want, wanted nobody to talk about the lion. And all, all the students uh, spoke about whatever animal, but nobody spoke about the lion. But the, the student before then, before him, spoke about the lion. And then the, the, this student uh, they can sp speak about the lion because somebody else uh, is doing it. And mm -hmm. he he says, uh, okay, I, I will speak, I, I, I will speak about the eagle. And they start saying the eagle is a, a bird that can rise in the highs. And when he's in the highs, see a lion. <laughs> and then they start speaking about the lion. Oh. And, uh, for, for that reason is every writer, every speaker has a lion, a topic that uh, mostly speak about that. Yes. 
my favorite book in Spanish, I don't know if you have read it, is from Mario Vargas Llosa. It's called Travesuras de una Niña Mala. I really like that book. Yo Mar said Mario Vargas Llosa. You read about Mar Vargas Llosa, but that, that one, I, I didn't read it, but I, I look I, for it. I really recommend you to read that book because... Contradicciones? Yes, but the details. He is very, very detailed. Yes, he is a good writer. He is good. Yes. yes. I would like to read your book someday. Maybe I can find them. <laughs> you can read a part of the book in, in, in Amazon. You can read the first chapter. Send me you the info. Go... If you can, when you could, please. And send me on... on, um, on Sorry? Uh, Send me the information, please, to my WhatsApp. Okay. And I'll, yes. Maybe I'll buy the I'll, I'll buy the book. Yes. I'll I'll buy it. What I do is that when I buy it from Amazon, um, I always have family coming, so I always buy it, and they'll send it. And when my family it, comes, it, the the best way to to read it is like a book because in the the the, yeah. the hard copy is uh, is uh, so expensive for for the sending. Yes, it's true. But, uh, but I am old school. Is... I like I like hard copies. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> almost everything. Everyone like hard copies. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting. I did not know that you were a writer. Mm, nice. What about you, Mr. Isaias? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, well, my weekend was. I know. I wait. Wait. Can I guess? I know what you did. You went out with your what? friends. You went out with your friends. You played soccer. And, and you, you had dinner. You had pupusas. Yes, the same. But uh, I <laughs> spent time with my family, too. Okay, good. And your ex-girlfriend? Still ex. Yes. I don't know about oh, her. Awesome. Good. <laughs> you know, this weekend I did something I had... I can't believe I had never gone to a cafe talon. Really, I had. Have you ever gone to a cafe talon class? Yes. Well, that's really nice with the family. I mean, it's, it's a family thing. I had never gone there. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, a day is really good for family. Mm -hmm. But at night, I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. There are still some bars on the, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, por el cementerio, aquí del lado del cementerio. Hay yeah, varios bares. Cement <laughs> I had gone there when I was younger, but I had never gone in the inside where the swimming pools and it's, it was very I used nice. to run there. I used to run there at like, 10 p.m. It was like in 2015. I used to live in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. and I used to go there uh, at night. I used to love running there. If you go at 10 p.m., you will find a lot of people running, doing exercises. What time skating. does it close? I think it doesn't close. You know, because sometimes I used to arrive there at 10 p.m. and I left at like 11 p.m. and still people running there, walking or the well. If you go at weekends, uh, soccer match at 10 mm -hmm. p.m., there are still a lot of people, and the parking is still open. You know, because a lot of people that go there to drink beers go to dance or stuff like that mm -hmm. at El Café Talón or at Paseo del Carmen, they park the cars there. And, and, you know, all of those places close at 2 a.m. Well, now I, I don't know if they are still closing at 2 a.m., but like five years ago, it used to close. Well, it, it, it didn't close. So I don't know if it is still the same. Oh, man. But it's interesting. But yeah, I went, really nice. Really I nice. liked it. Yes, I really enjoyed it. I went in the morning, too. So um, there was a lot of trees. So it wasn't it was hot. But since there were a lot of trees, you didn't feel it. I think that every city should have a, a park like El Café Talón. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't. Yes, I think I'm going to go next week again. And it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually cheap. All right. Okay, class. So we're going, um, we only have, I think, three more readings. So do you see my screens where it says integrated writing task? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me see. We have, okay, it says read the following passage. Next, you'll listen to an audio clip of a professor giving a lecture on the same topic. Ask that of the passage. Finally, you have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay about 150 to 225 words. This essay must summarize the point made in the lecture and explain how they support the challenge, what's written in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion. Listen to that. For this task. At the end, you will send your essay to your teacher. So one thing here, what's going to happen? What is going to be, what do we have to pay attention to this reading? What is something very important? We have to pay attention. What is the topic? Because the audio is going to be related to the topic of the reading. Okay. Now listen to this. You will not write about your own opinion for this task. So even if you write a good essay and you but it's your opinion just because of that, they will ex you. Okay, so let me see here. Good. Three paragraphs. Okay. Uh, David, can you please read until communicative uh, abilities, please? Okay. All right, go ahead. Go. Investigation at laboratories in the various parts of the world indicate that apes are capable of understanding language and using linguistic responses at the level of young children. I'm sorry, because... I'm sorry. Hello, I'm sorry. We did this one on Friday, right? On Thursday. Yes, yes, I think. Yeah, uh, yes, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the next one. <laughs> yes. I do apologize. Because here, they all look the same. Look, all the readings are the same. Okay. I do apologize. So it's the same here. Read the following pa passage. Next, you listen to an audio clip of a professor giving a lecture on the same topic of that passage. Okay, the same the same rules. You have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay about 150 to 225 words. This essay must summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support how they uh, how they support or challenge what is written in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion. Class, do you see do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Do you see the grammarly? Yes. I really recommend you to download that. Okay. Look, watch. Let me tell you why. Look. I'll give you an example right now. Let me see, let me give you an example. Do you see my screen? Yes. Watch, look, I'm going to write some mistakes on purpose. Okay.
Look here. Do you see the red? Yes. The red? Okay, it's correcting me. Look. So it detected my mistakes. My name is is, is and I am interested at in is in. Okay. So here. Oops. What what this does, the grammarly, it it corrects your grammar and it also gives you suggestions. Let me do one with, with commas, watch. I am interested in your, watch, house, car, and bike. There are four suggestions of, you know, because I have the free version. So it, it gives you suggestions. Look, what is wrong here? My name is David and I am interested in your house. Car, you see, look. You see, it's giving me the suggestion for a comma. Okay. You saw that? It gave me the suggestion for a comma. Yes, three things. Mm hmm so that, that's oh. what I like about Grammarly. It, I mean, if you misspell a word, that's one thing. And it also gives you suggestions like to put a comma, a period, or sometimes you have some words that are not necessary. So I, I would recommend you to download that. What is this? The, the screen, who wrote here? So somebody, right? Yeah. But you can down, uh, erase in the there okay so i see sam gra grammarly grammarly yes and okay so there is the same teacher we need the next excuse me Oh, yes, it's true. Sorry about that. Hey, now I can't. Because you are working. Hey. From your, your Google Drive, you need to go to the. Yes, but I can't. I can't. Okay. I couldn't clear. I hate it's this about. Up. Yes, I, I can't. I can't take. um. When I when I put eraser, when I erase that, now I can't go back to the old format. Okay, there you go. Close that window. Yes, okay. that is that is the next one. Yes. The um the browser didn't let me go to my X format. Okay, so one, two, three. We have four. <clears throat> we have four people on camera and four paragraphs. Perfect. Okay, so David, can uh, can we start with the first one, please? Okay, asthma is usually seen as a condition whose symptoms can be adequately controlled with the right medicines. Researchers point out, point out that it is an intermittent disorder characterized by temporary bouts of inflammation of the airways, which led to typical symptoms such as within coughing and shortness of breath. After each episode, often known as an attack, symptoms subside and the airways return to normal. Does anybody here have asthma? Yes. You have asthma, David? No, no, no. Oh. I hear about the asthma and yeah. I, I I I see somebody with asthma about that. I have asthma, but they say that asthma never goes away. It's forever, but it, it it's progressive. But when I was a little kid, it was terrible. When you have an asthma attack, that is ugly. You start running out of breath. You start. <laughs> the last time I was going to have an asthma attack was when my father died in the funeral. 
that was it was bad. Okay, Anna, can you read the second um, paragraph, please? Okay. Mr. Isaias, can you read the second paragraph, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, asthmatic tends to be susceptible to certain triggers in the environment. These include, but are not restricted to animal food, bowling, cigarette, cigarette smoke, house, house dust, meats, and perfumes. Attacks can also be brought on by exercise, emotional stress, or a variety of the other factors, including respira respiratory infection, such as the common cold. Continue. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's okay, please. This explains what was going to happen when my father was in, in, the, in the cemetery. So I was having an emotional stress. What I told you like three minutes ago that the last time I felt I was going to have an asthma attack was when my father was being married. I was being buried. Okay, uh, Dennis, can you read the third paragraph, please? Yes, uh, just a quick question, teacher. Yes. How should I understand triggers? Triggers, very good. Disparadores. Excuse me? Something like disparadores or? Yes, uh -huh. trigger is in a, okay, look, the original word of a trigger is in a gun. You had the trigger. That's why people say, pull the trigger. What happens when you pull okay. the trigger? Okay. Okay. And what this is trying to say here is that um, certain triggers, it's like, you know how people say, I could be a very calm person, but if you talk bad about my mother, that's my trigger. I explode. Or if you talk bad about my children, I explode. Got it. So what it's saying here that sometimes asthmatics tend to be susceptible to certain triggers in the environment. And this is true. I am a perfect asthmatic. I am allergic to cats, to dogs, some strong perfumes. Okay, so can you read the third paragraph and finish with themselves, please? Okay. During an episode of asthma, the bronchial tubes and the smaller tubes dividing off from this, known as bronchioles, become narrow and block or blocked, and as a result, air can get in or out of the lungs easily. There are two basic causes behind bronchial narrowing. Either the bronchi and bronchioles are squeezed by muscle rapid around them around them rather like elastic bands or they become blocked by mucus and swelling inside the tubes themselves okay thank you did you understand that yeah a little bit okay bronchial narrowing first of all what is narrow is like when it reduces yes. the size, is the so it gets close. Okay, good. So it's the contrary of stretch, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, a, I remember in Santa Ana, the streets are very narrow. Yeah, that's true. I don't like it too much. Yes. Okay, what is a squeeze? No idea. I think there's even candies that are named squeeze. You know, um, when you squeeze, you get something and you squeeze. <laughs> like uh, masa, right? What do you do with them? Squeeze.
Do you understand now, squeeze, Dennis? Is no, no, not no at all. No okay. at all. Okay, let me give you a perfect example. Um, you know how sometimes you don't have the toothpaste, you're going to brush your teeth and e ya no hay pasta. What do you do? You open it and you see uh, maybe there's still a little just for one last wash. What do uh -huh. you do? You start doing magic and you start squeezing. Squeezing? No, I I, I don't get it. What okay. what is the mean? The, okay, the, 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 the no, I'm not gonna tell you the translation. I, I want I want you to use your English mind. Mm -hmm. Think English now. Okay, so um, when you buy a bag of, do you like cream? Yeah. Now, usually yeah. they sell the cream in a bag, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. What yes. happens when you pass that cream to a container? You open a little hole and you and you start squeezing all the cream out, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So it's it, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and, and when you finish, you still see no and you start squeezing more. <laughs> you, you know, I okay, cinco centavo más del dollar. Okay, okay. You know, you start squeezing into like, okay, there's no more. That is squeeze. Okay. I got it. Mm -hmm. People say, oh, man, I have no money. I am squeezing my last $10. So now, now do you understand when, when I told you about the toothpaste? I think that has happened to everybody. You go to the bathroom and you're going to brush your teeth and, oh, my God, there's no more toothpaste. What do I do? Yeah. And you start, I don't know, you start like doing the, the squeezing and trying to get it with the shampoo too. Exactly. Oh man, there's no more shampoo than you put water or something and you mix. It. <laughs> in, in the past, there were some special keys that you put in the bottom of the of the toothpaste. Yes. And you scroll and scroll and scroll and you, you, know and what? you get the most of it. Yeah, you know, and... um. Dollar City used to sell those uh, like many years ago. <laughs> and I don't know why they stopped selling them. Those were good. <laughs> yes. You put them at the bottom, right? And you just, yes. oh, those were very good. Okay. And um, Anna Cecilia, are you there? She's talking to someone. <laughs> okay, Isaias, can you read the last part, please? The last paragraph. When the bronchi. I'm uh, David. When the bronchi are constricted, the condition is called bronchoconstriction. Occasional squeezing of the bronchi is normal, but, it, but in Asthma suffers this muscle may reach to sensitively to an environmental trigger. Triggers. It is triggers. It is also a normal function of the bronchial tubes to produce mucus and concert with tiny higher color cilia to trap inhaled irritants and remove them from the body, thus protecting the lung. But some asthmatic produce an, an over, uh, overabundance of mucus, and this result is blocked airways and consequent asthmatic symptoms. Okay. So, so if you had to guess, what do you think the topic is? Asthma. 
class, in general class, what do you think the topic would be here? Asthma. So, mm -hmm. I mean, what are, what are, what are the symptoms, and, and how is an episode of asthma? Exactly. I guess. Yeah. So the topic definitely is asthma and the symptoms of asthma, right? Let's listen to the audio. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt. But there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Okay, so if you had to... Now let's look what it says here. You have to write a 150 to 225 words of, of an essay. This essay will summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support the challenge of what's written in the passage. Once again, you will not write about your own opinion. At the end, you will you will send the essay to your teacher. So instead of sending it and writing it, what would you say on the essay? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What will be the, the summarize? Mm -hmm. So what 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 are we going to talk about? Yes. I guess that it will be an explanation about what happened when when an episode of asthma attack a person and what will be the reason because they say that it could be it, in part it, it is genetic, you know, mm -hmm. and other other part is uh, the environment also so we will say that that uh, what happened at uh, describe uh, an episode of asthma and w what are the what causes uh, the the asthma attack 
like it said, we we want to mention the pol the pollen, cigarette smoke, uh, dust, uh, and other things. You know, aside from from genetic. Okay. Yes, I think you covered it because it says what happens during an attack. It says here, look, during an episode of asthma, the bronchial tubes, the bronchial tubes, and the smaller tubes diving off these known as bronchial holes, become narrow and blocked in a result. Good. So it talks about what happens in an attack. It talks about the different types of symptoms. Remember, I think it was last week in the reading, it says, ask yourself the what, when, where, and why. Ask the five questions. What is it? Asthma. Why? Because it's genetical. I mean, this is you thinking by yourself, you know. So when you finish the reading, MPS, okay. What, when, where, why, who? What is it? Asthma. Why? Genetical. When? Forever. <laughs> where? Where maybe is not important here. To who? It's genetical. Okay, now you have an idea. And now you start writing your essay. And I think what you did, Dennis, was very good. Everything you, you put in words, you have to put them in writing. Okay. So uh, I would start something. Uh, that I would start something about, for example, the lecture was based on asthma and its symptoms and attacks. And then start saying, but that was very good. That was very good. Does anybody have something different? No? Okay. Uh, so you have never, uh, you don't have any family members or somebody with asthma? I don't. Mm. Oh, okay. So listen, like I said, we only have, let me see how many more. We have final, oh yeah, we finished, that was the last reading. So tomorrow would be the final exam. The review. Okay, look, so tomorrow we will finish about this. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're just going to do a quick review about everything. We're going to go back to the reading, to the listening, to the writing. I want to see, I really want to see if I can find some examples of, of real TOEFL questions. So we can practice, okay? All right. Uh, so listen, um, Dennis, what advice would you give David? Because I think David stood up and he didn't listen. Or maybe he did because he has earphones. <laughs> but what advice would you give him before you start writing the essay about this lecture? Mm. What is the first thing you have to think in your mind? I think that the main idea about the reading, so, and also what you mentioned is, is uh, I realized that, that I was using that actually, uh, the five W, you know, yes. what, what, when, where, and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, David, that, uh, that's good because look, what it says here, it says to write 150 to 225 words, right? He, sometimes you get stuck. So ask yourself the five W's. If applicable, because some are not applicable. Entonces empecemos con what is it? Asthma. Bueno, okay, tenemos asthma. When? Really, maybe it's not applicable. Where maybe is not applicable. Who yes is applicable. Why is applicable. And then now you have your base. 
asthma. Who? Uh, it's ge it's genetics. Why? And then because and this and that. Now you have an idea. Now that will help you. Um, that will help you with your essay. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Teacher. Yeah. Hello, Anna. I think she's watching TV. <laughs> Look, she's really watching something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she loves the connection. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Dennis, you know, talking about TV or David, I think you'll like it. I really recommend you to watch this. It's my favorite show. It's called The Blacklist. So they called it? The Blacklist. It's in... Ah, it's in... Blacklist, yes, yes. Do you watch it? No, I I, I read some, some trailers, but Man, I see this. Interesting. It's good. Yeah, and the last season, and this is the very last season, it was uploaded yesterday. Okay. And uh, I'm very angry because I don't... I You see, that's why I like to watch... I like to watch TV alone. One day I was watching The Blacklist and my wife decided to watch The Blacklist with me. And she liked it. And that's good. So what happens now when we watch The Blacklist, we have to watch it together. <laughs> and the problem is my, like, for example, on the weekends, my wife, she can watch one episode or two and después. I am just saying, let's see the rest tomorrow. And no, I can watch the marathon. <laughs> I like to watch one after the next, the next. Now I have to wait for her. <laughs> you know, like for example, yesterday I wa we watched the first episode of the new season. And today we couldn't because we don't have time. But tonight I want to watch the episodes, but I can't because I have to wait for her. But anyways. I recommend you that show because it's very, very good. It's the story about the most wanted criminal by the FBI. And in the very, very first show, he turns himself in. Do you know what that means? He turns himself in? No. Se entrega. He turns himself in. So he goes to the FBI building and he says, and people, hi, can I help you? Yes, call your director and tell him I am Raymond Reddington. But he walks in normally. And, you know, he walks in and he starts taking off his, his clothes, waiting for the alarms to react. Because, you know, when they detected his face and... Ah, and then the police came and they got him. So they had him in like the super, super maximum security. And they asked him, why, why did you turn yourself in? And he says, because I want to work with the FBI. And the FBI said, you're crazy. <laughs> you think, you know, you're the most wanted man and you're going to he says, yes, I will give you the blacklist. And that's the famous blacklist. And nah. the FBI said, no, um, we already have the most wanted. Yes, he says, but that's for the FBI and um, that's for TV. He says, I will really give you the list of the, of the people. So at the end, I mean, in the episode, yes, the FBI works with him. So he starts giving them Okay, look, I have somebody on the list. And he's he's he gives him the top 100. And that's what the show is about. They start going look for him and but he is bad. He's bad and he's good because the people he's giving him is his competition. <laughs> so by him giving them a number, like the FBI catches them. And now he has more a bit. Well, you have to watch it. It's a very, very good show. He comes to El Salvador in Una de Esas. So you mean in the in the in the story? 
yeah in the story because he uh-huh. you, you have to watch him he's going to be like your favorite villain to be no favorito because he is yeah. bad but he's good he's bad and good but um I I think you will like it David I think you will like him I think you will like that show I recommend you to watch it it's really addictive hey so, I don't re- hmm? go ahead go ahead no, and the reason why I'm telling you is because I saw that this weekend is they put the last the last season. And this is the final one. They they already announced it, so it's gonna be very, very good. But I'm gonna watch him anyway. I'm just gonna tell my wife I haven't watched it. So when I watch it with her, I'll pretend that I haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's typical. I'm gonna look it up uh in internet because actually I was checking and it is in Netflix. I don't have Netflix. I think that it doesn't have too much good content nowadays. You know, I I rather I rather um HBO Max. I I I like HBO. No, but Max. you know you know what is good, Claro TV. Yeah, I actually I was going to ask you because the a few days ago you recommend a, a series yes. that is in. Claro TV. I, I have it in, and I am looking up for a good series. The Rookie? That's the name? Yeah. You mean R-O-O? Uh-huh. E. Okay, I got it. I'm yes, look it I love that show and that's the, oh man, that show I finished, I think I did, I think I watched one season per day. <laughs> nice. No, you know, I I have had Claro internet for many years, like for five or 10 years. I don't know. Since I, all all my life with internet, it has been with Claro. And all this time I have had Claro TV, but I never used it. And one day I said, Chief, quiero ver esto. And I started watching and they really do have good movies and shows. Yeah, it, it has a really good content and I really like the platform. Yeah, you know, similar, because it's similar to Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the good thing is that you can watch a live TV in your cell phone, you know, in your computer, wherever you go. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but watch the blacklist. It's good. You like it. Okay, class. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll finish the like the final exam, or um, how the exam would be. And um, so Thursday and. Wednesday and Thursday, we're just going to practice, okay? Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez. Nice. <laughs> Good night. Bye.